Good morning, Year 3. So today is Tuesday the 26th of January 2021 and you need to make sure you have got the date on the very top line and underlined just like you would do in school. Okay, so that needs to sit on that line, okay, just like that, ready for you to start your writing. So today we are going to be drafting our first part of our letter okay so we need our steps to success and these are the things that you're going to need along with your planning to help you so to be successful this week you must use the correct structure for an informal letter use a variety of adverbs of time manner and place a variety of sentence types which we know are commands exclamations, questions and statements, use a range of conjunctions and prepositions and lots of descriptive language, all of which I know and Mrs Edwards knows you can do beautifully. So here is my plan from yesterday. So I've got the address and the date. I've got my greeting and why I'm writing. I've got my exclamation and I've got my question. So I'll be using that to help me. But today we are only focusing on these two parts of the letter, okay? So you need to set your page out. So I'm just going to move this for a minute. Oh, I'm just gonna move that there. So you need to set your page out. So on the very top line, you need to write the start of Harmony's address which is 23 Rainbow Avenue. Now you need to make sure that you've got enough room to write that on the top. And for our address, we're not going to miss lines, okay? And it sits like this. It's a bit funny because it's almost a bit like writing backwards, okay? So Little Town, London, LDN135. Can you see how that all sits nicely against this edge of the page? And then on the line underneath, Wednesday the 20th of Jan. See, now you can see I've not left myself enough space. So that's something you need to think about when you're writing your date, okay? Look how much longer it is than the rest of it. So that is your address. You will then miss a line and come back over to this margin and write your dear Uncle Ginger. Okay, so that is your start of letter part complete. So I can cross this out. So I have done sender's address. I have done the date. I have done my greeting. Why you're writing? So go back to your plan and I've put on my plan. I am writing to you because we never get a moment to talk on the phone. But I want to change that a little bit because I was talking to my friends yesterday and listening to the teacher and I decided that I've got a better idea. So I'm going to say, I thought I would write you a letter because, remember we're missing lines, when you called last week we weren't oh dear wrong button weren't and i've not got enough space so i'm going to go on the next page we weren't able to talk properly okay so there is why I'm writing. I'm going to then say I can't. Oh, I still can't believe the gift you gave me. What? What a thoughtful present. And I know that's an exclamation because it's got 
the exclamation mark, but also it, said, it starts with what. So I've done my greeting. Let's just move this back onto the screen. So I've done my greeting and I've told why I'm writing and there's my exclamation. Now, I can't just put a question because that's not going to be enough, okay? So you need to talk to him a little bit. What are you going to say? Okay, so you need to get some ideas. So you might want to talk about the wishes and the coin. The coin is so precious. It took me a while to solve your tricky riddle but eventually there's a the use of an adverb but eventually I managed it and you might want to put a question in there where did you think of all of those clues Okay, so can you see all I need today is you to do that paragraph, okay, these two paragraphs, but as well as that, you need to think about these things. So make sure you're using the structure, make sure that you've at least got two adverbs in that part, different sentence types, at least one conjunction and one preposition, and you've got descriptive language, okay, so describe everything you can. OK, so your challenge today, just like in the video, is to complete your letter first draft using the planning to help you. And I only want you to complete these two sections, the start of the letter and the opening paragraph, just the orange and the blue. Do not do the next part because that is tomorrow's lesson. OK, if you've got any questions, just let us know. Turtles, I am doing our English lesson live, so you can join that and you can ask me questions there and I will be teaching you live for this, okay? So, like I said, any questions, just let us know. But apart from that, have a lovely, lovely day.